vibras. Because we know the vibras. What is happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the You Know the Vibras podcast. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Michael Carrasco. As always, I have my boy, the one and only Juan the Don, with me. And today we got a special guest, my boy Quest from Quest and Friends. What's going on, y'all? Hey, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> what's Quest. happening? What's happening? From Quest and Friends, the podcast, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, bro. It's good to be back. Finally, yeah, I know, man. Thing, it's bro. been what? Like, <laughs> it's been a minute, it's been a minute man. Yeah. You finally, you finally yeah. put in your, you finally put in your deposit, and we got to get you back. That's <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. My, like my, my people was finally got back to y'all. Yeah, <laughs> this accounting yeah, yeah, team yeah, was was, was playing too many games. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. The checks cleared, though. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. We Gucci. Nah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Quest. For those who don't know, Quest has been on the podcast before. Um. I think yeah, he's actually been the only podcast or podcaster to be mm-hmm. on, you know, the Vibras podcast. There was hey. an episode. There was an episode uh, that we did in season season two. Season two. It's season called two, yeah. Hot Sauce and What? Question mark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just yeah. just figure out why we. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, it was uh, a fire episode too. It was really good. It was really good. No so, pun intended. Uh, I'm not going to be one of those people and be like, oh, you guys were asking for this and now we brought it back to you. But no, we wanted to bring Cat Quest back onto the podcast. And uh, for those hey. who don't know, we have, we have news, uh, you know, followers and listeners and everything. So we want to introduce you guys to a close friend and close podcaster. That's right. That hey, what's up, the man? Best family. Uh, although, 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 although. Oh, I would say this in the beginning. No, 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 no. It's nothing crazy. I would say this in the beginning. Uh, I think there's a slight echo still. But anyways, um, I wanted to mention um, Quest. Michael don't know this, but Quest has has made me a counteroffer to join Quest and Friends. Um, Oh, my God. He's our friend. Oh, you weren't supposed to say that on camera, bro. Trying to steal the talent, man. We're going to talk about it after. (laughs) After, bro. I'm I'm highly considering it. but, uh, this, guy, this guy. Yeah, what happened? Man. I don't know, bro. Oh. We we having technical right, difficulties anyways. all morning. Just happened. letting your guys know. We don't. I don't know what's going on, but we're going. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> we're going to work. We're going to work it out. It's, it's cool. I mean, not, nothing has happened yet. That's right. In, yeah. While we're recording. That's right. So it's right. been cool. Yeah, we had technical difficulties this morning. But uh, hey, man, what's going on, y'all? It's, it's, it's been a yeah, minute, man. I hope y'all doing well. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to be back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for yeah, the most part, we're doing good. Uh, at least from my end, we're doing good. Uh, finally kind of getting getting over this cold weather over here in uh, in Houston, Texas. <laughs> it's been crazy. Cold? Damn. Yeah, man. It's wait, been wait, wait. cold. Cold weather. Weather. No, it has yeah. not, bro. Cold weather, yeah. No, it has not. I mean, not as cold as Chicago. Texas, not as cold as Chicago, but it's been bro, cold. Bro, how you, how you going to say cold when it's like 50 degrees, bro? That's great. Bro, nah, it was like 30s the That's other cold. day, bro. Bro, bro, this is the shit I be talking about. People be moving and swear they from that area now, and they forget that they came from the cold. Like you, I came mean, from I the know. Cold. Yeah, I about? came from the cold, but cold weather's not my it. thing, man. Now he wanted to be a Texan, or whatever Heck you guys yeah, call it, you guys out there. Sixty, anything below sixty yeah, degrees. Yeah, don't cold, too. I you, you, to know, be you know, you know, you know what's cold? When I had to wake up in the morning, and it was negative two degrees. That's cold. <laughs> Damn, that, that's cold. Hey, nah, that's, that sounds, that's that sounds like a up, way. Man. It sounds like a huge personal problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? It sounds way too personal to be on this podcast right now. It ain't well, our fault, bro. It's cold, all right? That's the name of the What's episode. A personal problem personal with, uh, problems, bro. What's well, a personal problem, problem with uh, Mother Nature and not anyone else? Well, yeah, yeah that is very true. Me and Mother Nature have some beef. Yeah, man. Yes, yeah, y'all How about you, hash Quest? Out, How's man? Cali, man? How's Cali? Um, the weather's been weird. Like yesterday was yesterday was cool, you know. It was like in the seventies, the sun was out, all that shit. And then today it's like raining. You know what I'm saying? It's a little it's a little chilly. Mm-hmm. So yeah, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, interesting, interesting. So the weather the weather's kinda weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it's, great. It's, but, yeah. So it so so but what has been so it gets it don't get cold in Cali, does it, right? I mean, I mean, yeah, it does. I mean, to to me, it does, but I'm I just don't do well with cold weather. Like I, I've come to that conclusion that mm-hmm. I just don't do well in the cold weather, like at all. What is cold I mean, to you, like, man? What is the cold when you say cold? What is cold, man? So, it can't be anything so below. To me, to me, cold is like 
forties, fifties, forties. You know, Damn. okay, that's, that's cold that's, to me. That's cold in It's great weather to go to the you know beach and lay in the sand here. Mm-hmm. I'd say. <laughs> he said. Well, he said, "I'm trying to go to the water." <laughs> nah, but I mean, Take I feel like well, but, well, but then again, it's like you know, you, when you come from certain areas, you know, the weather hits different, and you're raised in that, and you're used to that. So, I just hate when you know people from the west side of the United States, or like say, uh, the South, maybe, um, they come to like you know, places that, uh, what's how can I explain this? It's 60 degrees, say, for instance, in Chicago, and they come and wear earmuffs and, you know, gloves and... Oh, yeah, no, nah, 60 degrees is like, all right, 60 degrees. Yeah, yeah but but you guys do that, though. You can't you can't say you don't. Man. I mean, it's because... You guys are ready to pull out the jackets and hoodies. Oh, yeah, man. because you, you get well, acclimated again, to, me, that, uh, that, uh, to, like... Personally, <laughs> personally, I don't do well with the cold. That's me, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. But am I going to sit here and be like, oh, put on a fucking, you know, shysty? And like, <laughs> you know, like three three different coats for sixty degrees nah, now. Nah, I mean, it's you, not, it's you not just look bad. at it's it from this dirty. perspective. Let's say you go you go to the south, you know, when it's like sixty degrees, but you're coming from from the north that is thirty twenties. When you come down, you you wearing shorts, aren't you? But yeah, it's a, it's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I had family from New York um, come out here in December. And motherfuckers was in shorts, yeah. bro. And it was it was mad. Like, it, it was cold. It was cold. <laughs> it was cold. The motherfuckers was in shorts, bro. I would say I did see somebody in shorts in Chicago when it was negative two degrees. That was... I mean, they you used to that, like, though. See, nah, that, once you get acclimated. Once you get acclimated. No, he's the only person that I've seen like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't used to it. He's just trying to be like a macho man. That's why I never understood I mean, that too. certain people try to show out when it's cold, bro. Like, wearing shorts and... Nah, for what? Man, I will, You're not impressing nobody. People gonna look at you like you dumb. You feel me? Right, bro? right. It's not impressive. The, the only, the only in, uh, like, time I will wear shorts when it's cold if it's I'm taking out the trash. That's the only time. But, but I'm going to wear a big-ass jacket on the top. <laughs> yeah, nah, see. <laughs> I'm, uh, <coughs> I remember I, I used to wear, like, a sweater and shorts, like, at school, like, in high school, back in high school. Right? And, like, I'll catch myself, like, wearing... A sweater, but like with with shorts on, and it's like, like I've thought about it. And it's like, how, like what? Oh. How is this helping me? Like I'm still getting cold. Like this isn't. I helpful. mean, by by sweater, do you mean like like a like a hoodie or uh, like a hoodie? I mean, a hoodie, a hoodie, yeah, like yeah, yeah. A hoodie or crew neck type shit. I mean, I I kind of used know? to do that, but like more towards the springtime in high school, just because I had baseball mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. it was just easier to to just wear something athletic, and then yeah. And then some cool Michael, yeah, Michael how does it feel, you know, going through all those cold weather practices and stuff just to get cut, man? Ooh, tough, man. man. Let's, let's talk about freshman Whoa. year. Yeah, bro, that shit was rough. Whoa. Was part of my language. It was rough, bro. Quest, you, you, imagine, you imagine your dream is it to be an MLB rough. player. You're going through this cold weather, war- warming up, conditioning, throwing and everything just to get cut. Just to get cut. After yeah. your dreams yeah. were to be an MLB player. Yeah, yeah. Way, but I'll tell you what. I would turn I'll tell into- you this. If I would have oh, went to a different God. school, I definitely would not get cut. But this is what it is. I would have turned into Michael Jordan, bro. Michael, how, real, how, realistic, how, real, how realistic are we when, when you want to say, like, how far you think you would have made it in baseball? Be honest. If I... Uh, I mean, I would. If you were given the right opportunity. If I was given the right opportunities, I would say definitely college. Because I, I like feel D three, D two, D one. Maybe like D two. Realistically okay. speaking, D one yeah. maybe, uh, and then yeah, okay. I don't MLB just because it's just double so, A, triple A, maybe maybe triple A, maybe. Maybe, maybe like Damn, hell no, bro. maybe, maybe, hell but no. I don't know, bro. Hell yeah, you no. you I don't know. You a hater, who? I don't know, bro. I, feel... I played against him and I and I dominated him, bro. Oh, that oh, that yeah, is yeah, cap. Yeah. That's straight up cap. So, so Juan's Yo, last Quest. name is Soto. No, 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 Quest. You want to know something? Yeah. That you want to know a funny story, bro? Well, one well, day, well. one one time, uh, I don't know if it was opening day on Little League or something that it was. I can't remember. But uh, there, there's a picture, bro. Damn, Michael's not gonna put it up. But we all—I think it was opening. 
I think it was opening day, and I think after opening day, there was like a festival going on in, in the city. And tell me why <laughs> we had the bright idea to go in our full uniforms to this festival, thinking we were gonna pull something like yeah, some girls are gonna want to talk to us <laughs> in our uniform, like. Bro, bro, that was, we, that it was, was so funny. cringy, bro. That was funny as hell. Oh we had we had like the the so jerseys, listen, listen. the the the, yeah, the jerseys. With jeans yeah. and some other. Bro, yeah. that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the picture, you would see Michael with jeans. We didn't have jeans because we had to go change and come back. But yeah, we had our jerseys, yeah. our hats. Like Everything, I think we even bro. took the gloves and the ball. <laughs> bro, it was it to was the festival. Funny. I gotta bro. find that picture oh, somewhere. <laughs> no, I have it. I have it. I have it. I have it. I'll send it to you. Trying to, trying to impress. Bro, yeah. we thought yeah. we were. We yeah. thought we were. Yeah, that was funny, though, man. That's but yeah, Quest, did you play any sports coming up, man? Um, I was in... I I believe I did Little League. Okay. I Baseball? Paper. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What position? Yeah, what for position? real? Um, That's I Jose Altuve, bro. Nah, chill, yeah. chill. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was uh, I was Jose Altuve back back in before Jose Altuve was Jose Altuve. Man. I taught him everything he knows. Bro. No man, <laughs> he doesn't talk to me, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I was in uh, I was in little league. I ended up in the paper. All right, why were you in the paper, bro? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know why it, I ended up in the paper. She was nuts. <laughs> it was nuts, bro. Damn, that's tough, man. No, yeah, I mean, I, I, everybody knows. Uh, all right, let's continue, sir. Well, I I had it was either practice or it was like a it was like a scrimmage, and I hit like I hit like a home run or some shit like that. Shut, bro, quest, stop like, lying, bro. I, bro, I swear, Man. bro, I swear. It was probably like a like, fifty feet day, field, bro. One day, one day come, it probably was one day come back from like school. My aunt is like showing me the paper, and I'm like, "What the fuck? <laughs> like I'm in the paper? What the hell?" That shit was Damn. crazy. It was That's nuts, crazy, bro. bro. That's crazy. It was nuts. Damn. I was in the paper for real. That's dope. I'm really out here, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's dope. Not and uh, that's dope. You guys played sports, um, but none of you can compare it to me. I would definitely was one of us, uh, one of a kind in baseball and football. Yeah. Now, uh, I, I didn't football. play basketball because you know, I, would I was say too football. Focused. I don't know about baseball, man. Uh, I don't know. You, you were. I, I'm gonna legit, tell you bro. this. I, you, you were pretty good. You were pretty good. Yeah. What, what position? What position you playing football? In football, tight end. You was not. Yeah, for real. I was Tony Gonzalez like, before no Tony Gonzalez. And I was Tony Gonzalez man. before Tony Gonzalez. Bro. Oh, my man. God, bro. But my idol was Jimmy Graham, I would say. Jimmy man, Graham was my Tony idol. Of course, Jimmy Graham was your idol, man. Get out and here, in bro. baseball, uh, you know, I played uh, first. Or in high school, I played outfield, actually. But uh, I always wanted to play first. And or I always in middle little league I played shortstop and third, bro. I used to think I was mm. a, a shortstop, I, and then I was in the B team all star uh, game, <laughs> and I was Man, playing no, short. Fuck out of here, B team. I, 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 hey, I was a shortstop, bro. I was going crazy, bro. Oh my god, hitting home runs and everything. Any bro, anybody that knows knows, bro. Oh my god, bro. I, was I don't know. I don't know. I bro, didn't make it because they have they had favoritism in politics. Michael made it because you know he was. There forever. Wait, you Michael know. made it. Oh, so you just hating? That's what you do. <laughs> what no, 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 no. Michael, why do you know? Because, Michael was, because no, I was no, no. there forever, bro. My skills is what no, got me there. No, because <laughs> no, he was older than me. He was older than me. Yeah, he was I, I, I was. Yeah, me, I was. I was. I will say that. I so, was so Quest, would you not say I was nice if I was playing in his age group? Come on, now, bro. I was goaded, bro. I, I mean, mean yeah, we're only apart right, by yeah, years. Yeah, so it. it was like, you got it. Well, you know how they they're breaking down like 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that's what it was. But like Mike, Mike was playing like varsity. You were playing JV, and then you moved up. So I get it. I get. It. I did I get cut. You. I did get cut. My uh, <laughs> my junior going into my junior year, which then I Dang. thank God. I thank God that it happened because then I focused on football. So that was good. I don't know, Anywho, continuing. Hey, um, we uh, you know, we're all NARPs, non-athletic, regular people now. So uh, yeah, let's just continue and uh, let's start. Yeah. Hey, hold up. So normally we do a quote of the day on the episode. Yeah, and yeah, today's quote yeah, of the day do. comes from Quest and Friends on the Quest and Friends podcast. Um, yeah, yeah, make sure you oh, I got to hit my drop. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I got to hit my drop. New Quest and Friends. What the fuck? Oh, Hold oh. Hey, yo. <laughs> you know what that sounds like? <laughs> Bro, that, that sounds that sound like them 0807 uh, hip hop or R&B song, like ladies, you know, mm-hmm. talking in the back. Like. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> New question for you. Shout out to Bob, man. Shout out Bob. Bro, where's the where's the beat at? Where's the beat? 
Oh, you want you want me to play the beat? All right, for yeah, sure. Big bad. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Oh, this shit is hard, bro. This is like some. <laughs> I feel this like I'm at one of them. Music, uh, bro. <laughs> I feel like I'm at a rave party, man. Not new J and Bob. Hey, hey what's going on? Uh, hey. But I got a quote. I got a quote. I got a quote. Right, hit us, hit us with that quote, my man. Hold on. Hold on. Hey yo. Hey quote. yo. So, boss. A great man once said, "When life gives you platanos, make fritos." Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, I didn't know what it that is. That was yeah. Wanda Don, man. Yeah. We- <laughs> <laughs> AKA Juan Soto. Bro, AKA, hold on. <laughs> Colombian, do, do Colombians eat fritos? That's a serious question. Yeah, bro. You guys do oh you guys call platano them platano frito? Of course we do. Pla, you guys call them platano verdes and platano fritos. Okay, you guys okay. are too proper, bro. Fritos. Um what do you mean, bro? <laughs> Same shit. We just add platano to the phrase. Yes, really. Anyways, um, that's a good quote, man. That's a good quote. Uh, can you dissect thanks, that quote? I don't even know if you can dissect it, man. Um, well, I mean, you know, when life throws something at you, you gotta make, you know, make light of a situation, man. Hey, okay, With what you, go, you can, go. you know. So go, yeah, go. I like it. I like it. Nice, man. All right, cool that's quote. a good quote. Uh, I thought I thought yeah, his gonna come, you know, with some motivational stuff. But hey, we appreciate nah. the uh, quote, man. We nah, appreciate. We- it. Nah, we ain't doing none of that today, bro. <laughs> okay, we ain't gotcha. doing that. All right. Yeah, like, wait. Yeah. So moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Yeah, Before we, I got something really quick that I want to mention. It's a quick current event. Yes, um, Mr. Thomas. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, I don't want to say Thomas. Let me look this up right. Thomas. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you don't want to botch his name? Yeah, I don't want to botch his name, man. Uh, One second. Okay. Thomas Edward. Patrick Brady Jr. Uh, has formally, well, has finally retired from the National Football <laughs> League. <laughs> Why you say his full government name like that? <laughs> you could have just said Tom Brady. I'm like, what the fuck? This man. What the fuck is this man talking about? <laughs> from the University of Michigan, he's known for his years with the, you know, the New England Patriots, and then going to the Tampa Bay Bucks. And uh, also winning a championship there. He's, you know, he's self-proclaimed as the GOAT, which is debatable to me. No, nah, nah, I don't think it's self-proclaimed, bro. I, I mean. Drew Brees is my dog. GOAT. Drew Brees is my GOAT. Oh, my God. Man, that's like me saying Cam Newton my GOAT, man. Get hey, the fuck yo, out no, of here. No, 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 no. You can't Come compare. On. You can't, Bro, we all know there's like three quarterbacks at the top, and you cannot compare. Uh, Cam Newton is always going to be Drew Brees, Tom Brady, maybe Peyton Manning up there, you know, of this new era, like of goats. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. All right, man, you got it, bro. You got <laughs> Thank it, bro. you. I'm Thank not, you. I'm not gonna... Let him be, Thank bro. You. Let him yeah, be. so so but... Tom Brady, so Tom Brady, Thomas, uh, I forgot his name. Thomas. Yeah, Tom Brady, yeah, Brady has Brady. finally retired after last year, going through uh, this. Botched retirement, I'd say. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it, and it kind of sucks because uh, last year, you know, people were like sending heartfelt messages and, uh, you know, given the full retirement. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But then he wanted to come back. Yeah, right, he came right. back, so it kind of threw people off. So he said this year he just wanted to uh, catch everyone off guard and, and finally do it. But people kind of knew it was coming because yeah. he just didn't look the same. Yeah, yeah. He didn't um. Look the same. But I would want to. I do want to mention something, man. Something happened after his retirement. So if you watch the video, he did it on like a it was like on a like beach. a beach, yeah. right? At yeah. a beach somewhere. So supposedly, <laughs> well, not supposedly. It did. There's a thing on eBay right now. People are selling the bottled sand of where he exactly were sitting down and retired. I'm going to send this to Michael. Hopefully Michael can put it yeah, up here. Yeah. But yeah, oh so, my God. And, and I wonder how much it's going for right now. I don't I know. I think it's like, last that, time man. I saw it, I think it was like 99,000, something like that. Something crazy. No way. Yeah, bro. man. Thousand? Yeah, it's nah, up there. Get the fuck out of here. It's up there. Bro, bro. Quest, I got to send you this picture, bro, so you can see it, bro. It's, it's no so way. Like, bro, it looks like people, like they have the exact location and everything, mm-hmm. bro. Like these people went full out on this you know what i mean and and it's yeah, crazy I can imagine 
So hold up, how much is it going for, Michael? I think ninety nine thousand. Yeah, yeah, ninety nine. Damn, 000. the current bid is ninety nine thousand. Oh my god, that's yeah, insane. It's going for a Yo, lot how of money. can? Oh, wow, is... Quest, look this up, bro. Man, that's Tom great. Brady that's when you know. Shot. That's when you know you like you made it when somebody's selling the sand that you stood on bro. for almost a hundred grand. No nah, way. That's nuts. That's nuts, bro. No, that's not. Nah, look at the one I just sent you, bro. That's crazy, bro. They have it at ninety nine thousand. That's mm-hmm. nuts. But yeah, so uh, this is this is crazy, man. They went to the exact spot, and <laughs> who's actually paying for this, bro? Let's let's just be honest, bro. Bro, it got to be like a no, diehard crazy, fan, bro. bro. Has to be like a really oh diehard God, fan hilarious. that that really want you know, that really wants that I mean, I you know it. piece of history. I would say. I get it. I do. That's not a piece of history. I go and get some sand. And nobody's gonna believe him that that's from t- man. That's bro, stupid. Bro. right. Bro, you, yeah, you there's no hater, way to authenticate it, it either. So it's like, how do you yeah. know? Like the sand will probably got raped, got moved all around. So it's not really the sand yeah. that was there when he actually did exactly. the retirement. Now, if that's he signs the yeah, model, yeah. that's a different thing. Right. Yeah. What if he does sign the model then? That but is look, true. You think the bids are going? Oh yeah, for sure. But look, so post retirement now, Tom Brady has agreed to a ten year allegedly he has agreed to a ten year three hundred seventy five million deal with Fox. Mm. Uh, he is expected to pursue his broadcasting career in twenty twenty three. Hey, he nice. won't be a part of the, he won't be a part of the Super Bowl broadcast though. But multiple people said they were impressed by his ability to communicate football concepts. So yeah, man. Uh, yeah, and he just like Tony Romo. Mm-hmm. Right. Tony Romo's Tony a good announcer. Oh, he's nice with it, bro. He's very nice. Yeah, I, I um, like him as an as an announcer. So yeah, what do you guys have? Uh, what are you guys reflecting with Tom Brady? Um, man? Any, any, anything about his career? I mean, and... shout out, shout out to him. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, he fucking did his thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying he was one of the most hated in the NFL, most loved at the same time. It's like the same shit with Kobe. You know, LeBron. You hate him or love yeah. him. Same thing with LeBron. You know what I mean? It's like. As a fan of of the sport, I do respect his, you know, his um his accomplishments. Yeah. Much like I res- much like I respect LeBron's accomplishments. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gotta the respect sport, the, you know yeah. They gotta respect the game, man. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say the same thing, man. You know, growing up when when he was, you know, winning all those championships in uh, New England, I wasn't really a football fan then, but I would say like. I definitely recognize everything that he has accomplished. And, I mean, he mm-hmm. has the most uh, Super Bowl wins right now. So, I feel like he definitely yeah, he definitely, he definitely set uh, set a big milestone. And, you know, now it's time for, for the new generation to, to try to, you know, be as good as he was yeah. in his prime. Yeah, people were talking about that, how uh, – now he was like the last, like I think, quarterback from that old generation, like mm-hmm. Philip Rivers, from the Tom old Brady, generation. Mm-hmm. Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning, you know those guys. Um, so yep. now it's like Mahomes, Lamar, you know, uh, Joe Burrow, like these guys or Jalen Hurts. Joe Flacco is still around. Oh damn, yeah, Flacco is. is still. Yeah, around. he's uh, yeah, Flacco's around catch, still, right? He's yeah, the, but he's yeah, but he's not as right? relevant as, no, as he no, was. No, no, he's not. Yeah, playing back with the Jets, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he's not relevant no more. How he was with the Ravens. Uh, I do remember yeah. in Joe Flacco's prime years, he was a god in Maryland, bro. Oh like, yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah. He was man. Yeah. But uh, continuing with the NFL topic, but and then I will let you guys talk. Um, there has been some controversy uh, from Arian Foster on Twitter. Uh, he was claiming that the <laughs> NFL was scripted. Literally. He's a former running oh back in the NFL God. for the Houston Texans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, for the uh, Houston Texans. He, he was on this interview saying that the NFL was scripted. And I don't know if, if he was being serious, but he looked serious. Bro, so, there's no way, bro. Yeah, I know. Listen, listen. But the thing is, <laughs> current current NFL players have taken this and ran with it and are like yeah, yeah, making yeah. fun of him and exposing him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Eli, Eli Apple was like, like, oh yeah, just part of the script. I mean, but yeah. <laughs> let let me ask you this: Will you be surprised if it was scripted, though? I mean, no, nah, it's, it's, I wouldn't be. Scripted, but like, no. it's just like, but it's, like certain no way certain things, certain things, maybe, but nah, nah, you it just can't be scripted, right. bro. Yeah, you know, like, what I mean? not everything. Yeah, but like, what is this? The WWE? Like, no. <laughs> yeah, like there, like there was these things, like uh, 
like this guy was like, uh, um, oh, I think it was Martin Humphrey. He was like, yeah, that time Jamar Chase put 200 yards on me, that was scripted. It was a part of the that script. That was just scripted. It was part of the yeah. script. <laughs> so somebody had asked it, somebody had asked Aaron Foster, like, oh, what happened in 2015 when your career fell off a cliff? Was that scripted? And he got like personal about that one. So, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, nah, it's funny, Shout though, man. Shout out Aaron Foster, though. He was, he, was, he was a good running back. Bro. Yeah, I mean, he I did. I also was. noticed that that that's been going on to the the NBA. <laughs> 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 like I was yeah, watching this yeah, meme yeah, with uh, who got in the fight, Mo Mamba and uh, what was the other guy? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> Austin Rivers. Austin yeah. Rivers. Austin somebody, I, I saw a meme. Years. Somebody was like, "Man, this this NBA script getting good now." <laughs> it's getting good now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro, somebody, they, somebody, they been rapping. Yo, they bro, been somebody, rapping. Nah. Yeah, oh yeah, well, well, Austin Rivers said you're only relevant from a song. Like that was crazy. Yeah, they, he told him like, nobody yeah. know him from his basketball. That they only know him from that's his song. crazy. That's just from, not his song, but from a song. I remember uh, well, with with the same script though. That was funny. I re- somebody posted something to Tom Brady. It was like Tom Brady when he came out of Michigan and they told him he was going to win X amount of rings and this and that and get drafted <laughs> yeah. in like the sixth round. He was like excited, like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, but no, nah, it's funny though, man. You know, it's good that these, you know, people could make it, you know, get a laugh out of that. But um, speaking yeah, cool. speaking of being scripted, um, who was y'all favorite wrestler growing up? Ooh, you start Jeff Hardy. I like it. I like Jeff how I did Hardy. that. Yeah, yeah. Segue like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Jeff Hardy? Oh, Jeff Hardy, for nice, sure. Bro. I, was, yeah, I, I mentioned Hardy. I mentioned on a previous uh, episode that um I had my email had Hardy as my last name. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Juan yeah. Hardy. <laughs> well, it was my nickname and then Hardy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. What was your nickname? Nah, now you gotta I, say it. Bro. Yeah, I can't what say that, nickname? I can't oh, say it. Only, only friends and family know, man, so. Come on, man. Yeah. No, no, no. It was good, bro. Anyways, but yeah, I had Hardy in my last name. So, Hardy was, Jeff Hardy was my, like, favorite wrestler of all time. Shout and, out Jeff. Uh, also, uh, Shawn Michaels, but uh, I got to see Jeff Hardy in person one time, and man, I, pff, wow, that was that was what? tough. And he he like I was screaming for his name, and like he eventually came and like grabbed my arm, and I was like, "What?" I was like a fangirl, bro. I'm never gonna <laughs> wash my arm. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm I was like, "What?" Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, but That's cool. you guys, you guys can go with your yeah, guys. Yeah, for for me, I had a couple. I would say when I first started watching WWE, would have to be like Undertaker. And then, like, I would say John Cena and Triple H were, like, once I grew a little. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think for me, well, I had, I had a couple, too. Like, I really fucked with Rey Mysterio. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, 619, you kinda bro. Like Rey, <laughs> yo, you kind of look like Rey Mysterio, <laughs> bro. You nah, look like Rey Mysterio, yeah, bro. Chill on me, bro. Chill on me. Bro, uh, I just... Bro, hold on, hold on. Before you continue, I just what? caught on to... Ray Mysterio, the six one nine is his area code. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, yeah, cause, cause the song, the song was like, "That's my pueblo." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, so, and uh, I fucked with yeah. um, Rob Van Dam, RVD. Mm. Ooh, I don't know if y'all remember him. Mm. Rob Van Dam, yeah, Rob Van Dam. <laughs> the Hardy Boys as a team, Hardy I Boys. fucked with them as a team. Um, John Cena, of course. You know what I'm saying? And then. Uh, I think, like, in terms of, like, older wrestlers, I, I you know, I love The Rock, Stone Cold Steve mm-hmm. Austin, you know. Um, but, yeah, I, I kind of want to get back into wrestling. I want to get back into wrestling because, like, I, you know, I've been, like, seeing TikToks and, like, videos of, like, of how, like, the storyline is, is going right. for him. With the WWE, and I, I kind of want to get back into it. Yeah, well, because now yeah. Triple H has taken over like the uh, creative, um, like scripts or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. He's the one that's been scripting everything out because Vince McMahon has stepped down. Um, well, no, he. I think he's. Uh, I think he's back now. Yeah, but I don't think yeah. he would have the same power though. Right, right. I don't think so either. Oh, so, so same either. favorite wrestlers? How about favorite song or, or the best song uh, theme song of wrestlers? Um, what's the? What do you say is the top song? John Cena's yeah, that that uh, will have to be John Cena's, John Cena's joint. I, I can't I can't remember the name of the song though. I had it. I had his whole album. I had that album. That shit was <laughs> fire. It was yeah, yeah. Look it up, bro. Look it up. Look it up. This he, man he, had the John Cena. He album, has an bro. album. Yeah, yeah. I had a physical copy and everything. I swear. What the hell, bro? What? I swear, yeah, yeah. It was that nah. deep for your boy. Your it was fire, bro. 
It was fire, bro. That intro song was tight. I also yeah, like Edge's song. Edge's intro Edge, song. Yeah, I would say Edge has a good yeah. good intro song as well. Edge has a fire. Bro, I, w- I would say, I would say, shout out to the WWE uh, because the WWE was the reason that like a lot of, I'd say, minorities were introduced to like rock and those type of genres, you know, mm-hmm. even like, cause yeah. I'd say, I'd say yeah. we, ne- we never really bumped those songs, but you would know them from WWE or know them from like the WWE game. Same. You know what I mean? Right. Game. Right. That is you true. Feel me? So, that is true. Like there's a lot of like hard, like, like uh, rock songs and stuff like that, that I know I'm, due to the <laughs> WWE. I remember wanting to buy a rock CD just because I saw it on like SummerSlam or some shit like that. Yeah. Like this, this was back when like, when like artists would like, promote their albums Mm -hmm. like with the Mm pay-per-view so it was like it was like damn this shit's tight i kind of want to buy it but i I (laughs) never did or no i'd say i'd say uh my my favorite song theme song was definitely the hardy boys or um the hardy boys or uh randy orton had a nice one too yeah randy orton had a nice one um yeah i think that's or carlito (laughs) oh (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna be cool? I like Carlito because he was uh, Spanish, you know, Puerto Rican. So yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not cool. Yeah, yeah he's that was dope. Yeah, man. Shout out Carlito. Yeah. I forgot about Ray Mysterio's either, man. That, that, that yeah, was Ray, a good one. Right. I mean, Ray Mysterio had a dope intro song. I'm not gonna lie. And then like uh, Eddie Guerrero, rest in peace. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Too, yeah. Rest and Chavo, peace, Chavo, Guerrero. Chavo, Chavo Guerrero. Mm. Like, Ooh, Chavo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, I think, um, yeah, man, I just want to get back into it for sure. Like, it, it looks, it looks dope. It looks dope. No, it's dope. It's just, watch, so. it's just not as. I don't think it's as, as graphic as it was before, though. Right. Yeah, of course. It's a lot Hell more no. sensor, I would say. Hell no, that ain't like the shit that they got away, away with Yo. back then. They ain't doing that shit now. <laughs> hey, man, bro, bro, kids was watching that. It's so <laughs> crazy, bro. Hell no. Yo, have you guys yeah. have you guys ever got to do like a backyard like wrestling match? Yes, I used to sir. Yeah. Park, yes, bro. sir. Yeah. <laughs> well, I played the video games, bro. You remember the video games? Bro, that thing was huh? crazy. Bro, they had they had a whole like video game. They had three mm-hmm. different video games for backyard wrestling, bro. Really? Yeah, yeah. Damn, no, yeah, I, I, I never done that, but but I definitely have done it in that the park or stuff like that. Like had tag team matches and you know <laughs> he was body slamming people, yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> on on the wood chips, on the wood chips. Yeah, <laughs> damn, that's even worse. <laughs> but I feel I, mean, I feel like bro, I feel like somebody with a wood yeah, chip. Bro. I feel like you didn't have a childhood if you, if you did, didn't, never did like you know fake wrestling, like you know what I'm saying oh, yeah, backyard uh, wrestling. We, we was wrestling at the crib, yo. Sure. Definitely at the but crib, but that's where all, that's where all yeah. that's that's where all your uh like injuries came from. Honestly, yeah. it was fake wrestling, no, shit, like, fake wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Um. Hold on, so this has brought me some something to think about. Um. What, what, what? would you guys say is something like some nostalgia from you know back from your childhood that you want to share? Like things that you know where you know just separate you from the kids now. You know what I mean? Like. Like, for instance, mine, I'd say, is, like, the Razor scooters. You know, like, kids that don't know the process of that, how, how mm. you know, bad it was to get hit on your shin with yep. that. You know what I mean? Or, <laughs> like, like putting it in dirt and spinning it. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Or or or, uh, or when I was in elementary school, the, like, the scooters with the, the square scooters and getting your fingers caught in them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Things like that, of that sort. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We just got some news. Kyrie Irving has been traded to the Mavericks. Ooh, we'll continue. Wow. That's a don't. To the, to the Mavericks? Mavericks? Hey, I- I'm the new uh, Ian Rappaport and Adam Schefter. To the Mavericks? Right. Yeah, Dallas sends Kyrie. Damn. Kyrie and Luca? <sighs> Oh, well, that is not, true. That yeah, is true. That's a yeah, good match. The Mavericks are yeah. the unstoppable. Yeah. Dallas, Dallas sends Dinwiddie, Finney Smith, and a first round pick and multiple seconds to the Nets for Kyrie Irving. Nah, what the fuck? Man. That's Mark report. Cuban. That's all Mark Cuban, bro. That is true. Damn. That bro. That's true. all Mark Cuban uh, is doing. That's crazy. That is true. Yeah, well, I just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the source, man. I'm the source, guys. You're welcome. That's fucking wild, bro. But anyway, um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. To, anyways. To, to answer to answer your question, I think that something from my from my childhood that I really enjoyed was, damn, bro. Like, 
I rem- I just remember like playing PS2. Yo, yeah. Like all the time, bro. PS2, man. Guitar Hero. Just, mm-hmm. G- yeah, fucking Guitar Hero. Back back uh back when we were teenagers. I remember playing Guitar Hero all the time, bro. Every weekend and shit. Right. And I'm talking about way back though. Like I had a Game Boy, like that was my childhood, like Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then I leveled yeah, up to so, DS, the DS, you know what I mean? And the like three DS, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had I had a, I had a Game Boy too. No, just think about it. Seeing the evolution, bro. Like we really were part of the evolution, like seeing the like growth yeah. of like yeah. games. That's nuts, bro. Well like, I would say nothing uh, beats Nintendo sixty four. There you go. Nothing beats that, man. The three well, the three I mean, it was like yeah. three uh yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to shout out to Nintendo, man. Nintendo was that was yeah, that's that nice, OG, man. Ho- holding down the youth for mm-hmm. sure. I remember them I old like nineteen ninety eight, nineteen nineties wrestling games. You had to like blow on it that way they would work right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah, GameCube, GameCube, GameCube was a good one. Yeah, yeah shout out GameCube. I never had a GameCube. Oh, yeah, what was that intro? The GameCube and the GameCube. It was like. Yeah, if you know, you know, bro. Yeah, man. I feel like, man, today's youth, they can't, they they won't be able. I don't know. It's just the struggle that you that we had to go when we were trying to play video games. It's alcohol on the on the CD, breathing on the CD. Breathing on that shit, yeah. Yeah, man. all but that I think, good stuff. I think, like, aside from, well, I mean, looking back at it, it wasn't that good. Like, I'm glad that I don't got to right. do that shit now. hundred <laughs> yeah, percent. Yeah, like, but like, nah, I but I, it's it's your childhood. I've definitely, I'm, I had great yeah. times with my childhood. Though. I feel like there's, I, I don't, you know, yeah. there's memories that you can like, you can like, you know, correlate right. with with doing those type of things. So I get it. Yeah. But it's like you know, as we as we kind of grow and 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 get older, we kind of see the evolution of things, and it's like, wow. I, I wish like, that was yeah. You know, we've come we've come so yeah, far. No, you know what I mean? But you, uh, but the thing is, you gotta see, bro. This is, I think, it's important to note that although we had these things, we weren't so like addicted how kids are now with these things. Facts, like kids are facts. like like there was a balance. You know when you had to stop playing. And you respected your parents, you know, telling you that you were done, you're done. Now kids have to go to sleep with these devices mm-hmm. and go yeah, to school yeah. with them and, you know, go out to eat with them. Like, you know, there has to be restrictions. Right, yeah, right. It's, yeah. it's yeah, crazy I, to see. I, mean, I feel know. like the discipline has changed throughout the years. I, I mean, I blame, I mean, I, you, I don't know. I feel like now it's harder for kids comes, to be disciplined. Here comes Grandpa Juan over here. Yeah. No, 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 no. I just, no, no, no. I just feel like, I just, no, 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 no. I just feel like now there's a lot of leeway with kids and it's due to like, yeah, you can get arrested for certain things. You know what I mean? So like in back in the day, you could discipline kids and nothing would happen. Now right. it's like, it's a big, it's kid a big can call the cops yeah. in your, in your school. Yeah. You know? so, yeah. I don't know, bro. Like, I mean, cause even me growing up, like I, I wasn't, you know, I didn't have I didn't have too rough of a childhood where I was like, you know, getting disciplined all the time or anything like that. But like, you you definitely see the difference between you know, grow, growing up in your in your time and then you see kids now, growing up yeah. now. But it's like, but in that same vein, it's like okay, we 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 as a people have to break these generational this generational trauma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where it's like. I'm not going to do the same shit that I went through, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And like of course, you know, it it's different now because you know, kids are like technology based and like they have iPads, iPhones, just so much around like, them, yeah. It, it's used as a as a tool, right? It's used as a tool, but it can also create a dependency and that's where yeah. you know, kind of like disciplining your child in a way that is beneficial instead of just creating trauma you know what i mean so it's like yeah it's different but you know it it could be used for a greater good or in a, right. in a better in a better sense you know what i mean right right so yeah wow. one, one thing that i would say wow. is Ooh. that i like yeah. that <laughs> i said that that came out of my mouth. That's damn, crazy. Man, you sound so smart and professional. Damn, man. bro. Proud. Damn, bro. My, 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 my degree is working, bro. Wow. Woohoo. Give him a round of applause, please. My degree is getting to work. Yes, sir. Wow, thanks, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate but I, adding to that, I feel like 
back in the days when we were growing up, I feel like our parents had to f- figure out a way of how, like, having us stay inside rather than, you know, being outside. Where now is the opposite. Oh, we were outside all exactly. the time. Exactly. Like, back in the days, we were, we were, we were everybody. All the time. Yeah, because it's not, it wasn't as easy, you know. Staying at home, you hide know, and seek. yeah, playing hide and seek, or we everybody got in their bikes. We, you know, ride our bikes park, throughout throughout the neighborhood. Go to the corner store, yeah. get some candy real quick, and then like find like an empty lot and just chill like as kids and just you know think about the future <laughs> type of sit, thing. Sit on, sit on, sit on the uh, on the electrical, electrical box. Box. Yeah. on the electric yeah. box. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like now, kid, like parents have such a hard time getting their kids to go outside and do just because you know, like you yeah. said, you know, yeah. kids now have they have There's the so iPad, they have you know, you got the what's that the uh, what's that that Nintendo thing, the new the Switch. The yeah, switch. you have the, the switch. switch. Yeah. You can take it anywhere with you. You know, everything is online now. Like back in the days, one one of the things that that definitely enjoyed was going to the to the DVD store. Like you know, Blockbuster, what's it, what's Blockbuster, Blockbuster. Bro, yeah. Blockbuster. You just unlocked the yeah. memory. Oh my bro. The amount of times that I was in mm-hmm. this motherfucking Blockbuster, bro. Didn't people like, rent? Didn't you get to yeah, rent the, the amount? It was right? like two or three yeah, dollars a day. Rent, you can rent games. You can rent games, you can rent movies, and I, bro, the amount of times that I rented or just wanted to rent games Wait. was horrendous, bro. It was crazy. Did bro, you have that? You had that? The you were in Blockbuster. No, that? I don't think I did. Uh, no, no, I wasn't in. It's like they cleared that oh, when okay. it went bankrupt. I had, I had, <laughs> the, I had the fuck. I had the. Oh, card he got the membership card. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I had the membership. I had the membership. And I remember, I remember, like, one of my fondest memories of Blockbuster was fucking renting a uh, Spider Man Two oh, on PlayStation Two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I was so excited to fucking rent that shit, and I played it every day for like two weeks. Damn. And then, it, yeah, it was man, fucking Blockbuster, bro, bro. That was that was like the the spot, like. After school, Hell man, yeah. you go to Blockbuster, Blockbuster it's like, all right, I'm going to get this gameplay for two weeks. And then I feel like <laughs> back in the day, so you, I'm bringing that. Yeah, exactly. What's such an excitement, like, when, when we were actually playing video game, you just go into the story mode and you just, you know, bidding the whole thing. It was like you, you were not, trying to raise. Not being able to save shit. Right. <laughs> not being right. able to so save was, none of the progress because you got yeah. to take it back. Wasn't that uh, yeah, thing man. also influenced from... Uh, Blockbuster was Redbox, right? Redbox, yes. Yeah, Redbox. That, has, that has stayed away though. That has stayed around though. Yeah, I mean Redbox yeah, and, and Netflix. Yes. Netflix, what? That's what it was initially. Was yeah, an online. Netflix, so, yeah, Netflix. DVD. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. 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 And now, and now they want to. Oh, speaking of Netflix, did y'all see fucking? <laughs> they fucking a uh, tweet resurfaced of Netflix saying, saying. Love is when you share a password. <laughs> everybody got in their ass talk about um is this you? Cuz now they want to they want to stop the the sharing of passwords. Right. Right, and they're right. trying to crack down yeah. on that. And so then that tweet resurfaced and everybody's like, "Um hello, is yeah. this you?" Yeah. They yeah, exposed so, them. Yep. So I don't know, man. But Blockbuster, hey, Blockbuster can make a comeback low key. They they could. They could. In my opinion it might you know what Blockbuster kind of reminds me of, man? Um, this is a weird comparison, but uh, I don't know if you guys remember when schools, I think in the summer, or not schools, but the library used to have that, like, uh, library bus drive around and, like, stop oh, in, like, your neighborhood yeah. and you get to rent out, like, uh, books and stuff like that. I was in debt for yeah. that. I never paid back the books. And supposedly <laughs> sometimes if you, if, you, if you never paid back the books, I think it, they would like hold your like report card or something or something like that. Oh, I can't right, remember exactly yeah. what it was. But uh, I remember you can go in there or even in school when they had the days like where you could, uh, like I think it was the book fairs. Yeah, the book fair where you can go in there yep. and like buy yep. books. I used, I used to like be that. so salty, yeah, bro, when all the kids, the rich kids used to come back with all these books, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I'm like, they, I was, and they'll come back with like, like, uh, I know all types of like toys and stuff, you know, like whatever you guys. They didn't even get. Cool, they didn't even get books. Like silly bands. Yeah, like cool pens, like cool, yeah, silly bands, cool pens. Yeah, 
and uh, I was seeing kids with new Diary of Wimpy books. I'm like, damn, bro, that was a classic, was man. I ain't Wimpy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, I feel it. I feel it, man. man. I would say the book. Bu- we know. say the books are better than the movies. Of course, that's always how it happens, though. That is true. Books are always better than the that movies because the books have a lot more a lot information. More details too. Yeah, but I, I I hate reading though. I hate reading books. Like I could, I don't think I've ever read a book like completely. Like honestly, like a I chapter have. book, like a chapter book. Mm. I've never had. I feel bro. you. I feel unless you. It's, unless like unless it. unless it's been with like a teacher and she's guiding us through it. Like you know, this week we read eight chapters. Next week, eight. Chapters. You know what I mean? Like that way. But me like sitting down and reading a book like. After two pages, I'm just like, damn. Right. But I could read articles, you, you know. What I, mean? I, I read articles though, like sports articles and stuff like that. And I'm, you know, right, like I used right. to always get the Sports Illustrated magazines and and the schools and, and read those. But yeah, right. right. I remember you remember those books. Absolutely. They used to have so many outdated like uh, sports in them. Like, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like the in the library. Yeah, yeah. they thought they were oh, doing my something. God. I, I think I, I think I found an almanac one time. <laughs> Oh, for real? Oh, Yo, oh, you know what books used to be lit? The World Guinness, ones, World of Guinness, Yo, uh, the Guinness fast. Record Book. World Record Book. <laughs> yeah. Record book. yeah. They would have like the cover, like kind of like, uh, what was the, how do you say that word? Like the, um, like the cover was like a little bit like, uh, you move it. Like a hologram? Like, oh, it was like a hologram. Yeah. It was a holographic. Holographic, holographic, yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah, that yeah. that book was like yes. I feel that that book you had to that's always nostalgia. check it out. That is, yeah. that's nostalgia, bro. That joint used to stick like that, bro. Mm-hmm. People bro, used to get you know what the fuck, yeah. you know what nostalgia is? Regular, regular Pokemon cards, bro. Oh, yeah, man. like the regular joints, mm-hmm. the ones you get at like fucking like like the corner store, or like Target or some mm-hmm. shit, and you don't have to worry about holographics. I ain't gonna lie, two ninety nine for bro. a pack of ten, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I might get arrested, but I used to, I used to steal some of them cards and I crack up the allegedly, the allegedly, 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 yeah. allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. I was um, like ladies, five, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. This is this is <laughs> not a confession. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but yeah, yeah I mean, I'll the pay po- for the the, 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 yeah. the Pokemon cards. Y'all never, never done that. Y'all full of shit, bro. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> bro, you over here stealing shit? Come yeah. on, bro. It's no way. Nah, nah, nah. Allegedly. Nah, allegedly. nah, nah. Just the baseball cards and like the yeah, football yeah, football yeah, football. yeah. Nah. So, some of them had like gum in them and stuff. I think. Oh yeah, the one that came like with that. the bubble gums. Yeah, I think yeah, so too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, that was. Damn. Yo, what? That's let me like let me ask you this. Uh, what was the 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 What's worst up? book y'all had to read in school? Damn. I don't. I think Macbeth. I can tell you, I, I, Macbeth wasn't it that bad. No. It was. I it know. Was in English. That was high school. <laughs> but like, uh, I think because 1984 was a good book. Mm-hmm. That was a good book. And then I remember, like, in elementary school, I used to read like Juni B. Jones books. You remember Juni B. Jones? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, those books were tight. And then like, I don't think I don't think I had a bad experience reading a book, low key. Like the the thing with Macbeth was Macbeth was just long as fuck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was long as shit. Yeah, but that I mean, that was it though. Man, and like, I got I never read a Harry Potter book. Harry Potter, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, Harry the, Potter's book, the, the, the they were good. Though. They used long. And then we found out that J.K. Rowling is a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah. piece of shit. How about you? How about you, my man? Whoa, whoa. I said Macbeth. Macbeth, Macbeth. Ooh, man. What about you? What about the you? Odyssey, Mike? bro. Oh bro. my god! <laughs> the Odyssey, bro. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, man. I... Nah, man. That was terrible. The Twilight man. books too. I mean, they weren't too bad. I never, read I never, I, I like. I think I only read one, but the they, they weren't that bad. Movies were cool. Damn, yo, Twilight, Twilight had them girls in a chokehold in like oh eight, oh two thousand ten, like. Yeah. What, what years? Yeah, they had oh, them girls. Was like, they were like Team Edward, Team Jacob, like hashtag Team. Though. They had that. I'm, I think who was Taylor Loner? The people used to say I look like Taylor Loner. So I'm Team whatever he is. Oh come on, man! 
You think every bitch? Get the fuck out of here. What? This man's that nigga used to sell me like Tanner. Nah, I swear, I swear, bro. I swear. Bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Guys, let, the, let these men, these people are haters. Let them know that I look like Romeo or Tell a lot. <laughs> bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. Move the microphone out your who, face. Let me see your whole face, bro. Who's who's let me see who's your speaking whole, this bro. nonsense no into you right now, the bro? Fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know who lied to you, but you do not look like Taylor Lautner, bro. Man, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you don't look like Taylor Lautner. Well, that was that's what people used to tell me, or and went not nah, more know. so when he was a uh, Shark Boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang, oh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yo, that, that's, that's nostalgia. Movie. Yeah, that is no. Yeah. 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 Shout, out Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Shout out to Spike, Spike. movies. Yo, you know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. One, two, and three. You know yes. what I'm saying? The yeah, 3D I'm one, man. When the, when the 3D first started becoming a thing, you had the. Bro, that, shit blew, that shit blew my yeah. mind, bro. <laughs> Watching that shit in 3D blew yes, my sir. fucking brain. I was like, what the you fuck, see? dog? What kind of innovational <laughs> shit is this? That shit is crazy. <laughs> We are literally in the future, bro. Fuck that kind of shit. Oh, he said he said another yeah. nostalgic moment from back in the days when you used to go into the movie theater what? and uh, watch a three D movie, and you would keep the three D glasses. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. you you will, you will <laughs> take out the lens. You know, all, all you will see, you all lens. you will see is red and blue. <laughs> Nah, that's the nostalgic 3D glasses, the red and blue ones. That too, Honestly. yeah. The red and blue ones were fire. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck they did bro, it, but it was that, crazy. That, yeah. The, whoever whoever invented that made so much money. I know. It's fucking insane, I bro. know, man. 3D, like, black, back in the day, 3D glasses were nuts. Facts. And then now now they just had the black. The black one. They had all black yeah. and plastic. The black ones, yeah. Damn. Black and, plastic. and now there's uh, 40 now, right? Or something like that? Yeah, 4D. Yeah, that's kind of like movement I, of the share and whatever, you know. What movie did I watch in 4D? Recently? Man. I watched Thor in 4D. How was that? Thor Love and Thunder. It was cool. To me, the, like, the only 4D, black. like, I would say, uh, movie, it was like I went to the aquarium and they had like a 4D experience, like little documentary. Oh, that's yeah, fine. bro, like. There was like That's water fine, splashing bro. and everything. Then next thing I feel fucking water hitting my face. I'm like, yo. <laughs> you saw, you saw a little, a little mist. Yeah, on your face. I'm like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Oh, hey, man. hey, hey. My, my last uh, nostalgic, nah, nostalgia what? question. What's up? What was, what was your guys' go to uh, school lunch? Like, what was your favorite thing the schools made? Like, you know, the school lunch. Like, from the school menu? From the school lunch mail. Pizza. Yeah, the school yeah. menu. The pizza? I would say... The pizza. The square pizzas? Oh, bro. yeah. You can't beat them square yes. pizzas, bro. Square pizzas? Or like the, or like the cheese yeah, sticks? Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. For me, it's either the cheese sticks and the, yes. and the pizza. <laughs> Absolute gas. Or uh, for... I don't know if they had it where, where you guys went, but the apple crisp for like dessert. Mm. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. young was uh, fire. Did y'all, did, y'all, did, y'all ever, did y'all ever try the pancake corn dog? Nah, nah, not me. With the breakfast sausage? Nah. No. I didn't I didn't eat breakfast Bro. like that in, in school. The the school lunch breakfast was lit. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit was ga- gas. Bro. They, they had them gas. like little like uh I think it was like these little cinnamon like things. Them shit was good. Oh yep. the cinnamon, cinnamon sticks, yeah. yep. Oh yeah, the yep. cinnamon sticks was good. Cinnamon sticks um, was fire. Damn now my favorite school lunch was, I'd say had to be uh damn. I used to hate the rib sandwiches. I used to hate Oh yeah, um, those the burgers. I used to like it was like the it burger, was a little bit toward my high school. Weird. They were they were doing these um damn, what's this thing called? It was like a cow's own type of thing. It was like barbecue chicken. Oh yeah. It was good, yeah, 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 yeah. It was good. And yeah, it was when really I good. when I was in high school, when I was in high school for quite some time, they were selling food. So like they had like the individual Domino's pizzas. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like well, yeah, well here, here they were doing red baron, red baron pizzas. Yeah. Red baron. Oh, okay, okay. You could buy the and red baron. That, and then, like, after they took that away, it was, like, I think the best thing was probably, like, the chicken sandwiches. Oh, Spicy yeah. chicken, chicken sandwiches. Did, did you guys use, uh, what, t- what, cu- what milk do you guys do? I used to always do the strawberry milk. Chocolate. Chocolate. Strawberry? Yeah. <laughs> strawberry, bro. Nah, chocolate. Oh, my God. This man is... Chocolate or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. Ladies and strawberry gentlemen. Milk. Strawberry milk was what, what I like. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> he said... <laughs> 
trauma in them. The Yo, fuck, that's bro? sus, bro. <laughs> and, and no, no, it's not, bro. It was chocolate good. milk. Chocolate milk was the only good option Fast. Bro, for school lunch. Either that or I will buy an God. apple juice. Guys, let us know Legit, in the comments look, if you were team strawberry milk or chocolate milk. Let I, us know, man. I these guarantee are you. I guarantee bro. you. I guarantee you. The reason I'm lactose intolerant today is because I was drinking hot chocolate. I was drinking fucking chocolate milk <laughs> with, fucking, with oranges and pizza what? for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Why would they give us milk with these Yo, meals? Yo, that is like, fast, what? Bro. Like, give us water? Like, I get it. Blame Michelle Obama, breakfast man. Time. Doing breakfast Michelle time, Obama, milk, bro. yeah, yeah. No. But like at lunch, like nah, give me, give me an oranges, bro. And then, and then they had a whole salad bar. I like the oh, salad. Like, yeah. I did like the salad. Yeah, of, the salad. Of green beans. Yeah, green beans, peas, and it's like you expect us to drink to eat this with milk. Like, nah, give me some kombucha. Yo, and shout out, and, <laughs> and shout, hey, and shout out to my uh, lunch lady. Uh, all, all the lunch ladies always showed me love because I was just. Uh, the, the, I was, I was a favorite in the school. I was one of the, you know, people loved me in school, but they used to oh, always keep go. me. No, nah, no. Nah, they used to always keep me a stash of cookies, you know, in the back. You know oh, what I mean? bro. Lunch ended. Mm-hmm. I, would go, I would go and get the stash she would leave for me. So I appreciate What kind of cookies you know, was it, though? What kind it was, of cookies uh, was it, though? The, the chocolate chip ones or uh, the macadamia nut ones. Oh, yeah. And they also had the oatmeal ones. The macadamia nut Anything she had, I'll take. Anything she had, I'll take, bro. She used to always show me love. Shout out to you. I can't remember your name, but you know. If you know, you know, man. Uh, oh, but listen. Um, <laughs> uh, here in Maryland, the chips that was big here was the uh, Old Bay. Uh, the Old chips. Bay, the, the Old like Bay crab, 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 the crab chips. chips. Yeah, crab, ch- the crab chips. Yeah, Marylanders used to love them things, bro. Oh my god. He said and here in Maryland, as if nah, yeah. in, in, in Chicago right, right now. <laughs> but you know what <laughs> in Chicago. Wait, wait, man. I'm Maryland. Hit, hit that joint again, Quest. Hit it, hit it again. <laughs> What the fuck? Bro, hey, one, hey, bro. This episode just been you, you was just been capping. First, first you talking about you went all American. Now you talking about you fucking drink strawberry milk. And now you talking about you and you and you in Maryland right now? Bro, you in Chicago, bro. Yeah, bro. Son, my heart is my heart, so my heart is in Maryland, bro. My heart is in Maryland. Oh, oh my fucking God, bro. Get this all right, guys. Off the- hey, 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 hey. Hey. Oh. We're getting oh, to the one hour mark, which is exceeding our uh, I think time this limit. is, a, this is our we longest go, episode. Oh, it is. But before we well, end I mean, we... it. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Before we end it. What's um, very quick. Um, Any quick uh, Super Bowl predictions before we end it? And then we do our last uh, I'm word. T- I'm, last... Taking, I'm taking the Eagles. Kansas City, I'm man. taking the Chiefs. Yeah. Hey. Kansas City, man. Last time, Michael Eagles. made his picks. He did hit. So, Michael, can you go over uh, your who do you think is going to be Super Bowl MVP and uh, a score, potential score? Uh, so, score is it's going to be a good game. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a high scoring game. So, I'm going to go and it's going to be Kansas City going to win by one touchdown. So, I'm predicting uh, 28 35 and MVP is going to go to Pat. Damn. Wilson. But but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, how do you get 28, 28, 35? That's a that's a seven seven point uh difference. Okay, okay, okay. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Come, man, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Okay. Now, 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 now I see which subject you headed in school. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah hold on, so you said MVP is Pat Mahomes? Either Patrick Mahomes or Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. Okay. Yeah. Man. Oh yes, let's be, I think, real I think, quick. Uh, yeah, both Kelsey Kelsey brothers are playing against Kelsey each brothers, other. It's the Kelsey Bowl. Yeah. Yep. And first two uh uh black quarterbacks ever in the uh in, in, in the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Yes, but there's some controversy with Mahomes because they say his baby looks too white. So. Well he's he's mixed and then you know his baby's mixed. <laughs> his dad his dad is crazy though. His dad was smoking on Joe Burrow pack. No, on the Joe Burrow pack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Smoking on the Joe Burrow pack, you jabroni. Okay, so we got um, two Chiefs and one. I'm Eagle. taking the Eagles, though. I'm taking the Eagles, man. I'm taking the Eagles, bro. The Eagles got a good squad. They do. They you know, do. I, I, I feel like I, I feel like I feel like if if the Niners weren't injured, then the Niners probably would have won. You know, or or at least it would have been a closer game. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. But um, I'm taking the Eagles, man. Yeah, but I, it's gonna like, be a good game. Again, it's gonna be a good game. Again. As a fan of the sport, I mean, I, I, you know, Patrick Mahomes is crazy, man. Mm-hmm. That man is crazy. 
Travis Kelsey is one hell of a tight end, but I don't really fuck with the Chiefs. He, he reminds me of me a little bit. Oh my god! He hit it! Hit it again, Quest. Capping, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? He reminds me a little bit of me. Oh man! Get out of here, man! I swear to God, bro. All right, man. Any last words? Any last words? Hey, man. Uh, closing thoughts, man. I'll let y'all. I'll let y'all. Well, thank you for having me, first of all. And uh, you want me? You want me to do my outro for my part? I know, sure. I know, I'll try. Go, go ahead, man. man. Close it out. Close it out for us. You know, I don't know if uh, if it's family friendly or not, but um, hold up, what? You know, uh, man. Thank you, thank you for having me. You know what I'm saying? This Keep it PG thirteen, man. We you know the V, but that's a podcast. You know what I'm saying? No, man. I, that's why I told you. All right, whatever. I keep it PG thirteen. We gave your girl a shout out, and if she didn't hear it, let her know because that means you heard the whole episode. And uh, make sure you uh, take showers, drink your water. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, man, thank y'all for having me once again. It was a pleasure. Check out our merch. Support your homies. Um, is the giveaway still happening? Still happening. Still happening. Yeah, man. Uh, interact with this giveaway. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my guys. And, uh, yeah. Road to 1K. Spin your boy. Road to 1K. It's your boy Quest. Uh, if, you're, if you're shorty, you don't know Quest, you don't know nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> any sir. any ladies in the market looking for someone? Quest is on the market, and uh, he is looking for a potential <laughs> queen. To oh shit! To uh, uh, isn't Valentine's Day is coming up, right? See, I even forgot. I don't, I don't. Hey yo, I don't yeah, do that. Coming up too quick. <laughs> too Day. quick. Too quick for me. Um, <laughs> he said it's too quick. Man, we, we get it, bro. We get it, <laughs> man. <laughs> We get it, bro. Yes, sir, yes. All right, uh, Michael, any last words, bro? Hey, man, you should be out there. Be great. Make sure you guys, you know, comment that road to 1K. You know, watch the last video. That way you guys comment. Comment. Comment, comment, comment. road to 1K comment. on the video to be entered to the giveaway. Also, screenshot, you know, send us a screenshot of, you know, your subscription. Send them page. a screenshot of my face. That could be one, right? <laughs> send a screenshot of my face. But yeah, yeah, it it make, you simple. know, show us that you subscribe. Take a screenshot. You know, DM it to us at, you know, on Instagram at, you know, the Vivras, uh, you know, that way you can be entered for a second oh, entry. Man. Yeah, you know, engage, engage, uh, and, you know, be out there, be great. Do engage. You. Uh, don't let anybody tell you any different. You're great. Yeah, support your homies. Alrighty, guys, the best for last. Welcome. Oh, not welcome, but hey, thank you guys for listening to the whole episode. <laughs> ding, ding. I, I, we genuinely appreciate you guys for all the genuine support. Uh, thanks to Quest from the Quest and Friend podcast for uh, you know joining us for a yeah, interesting yeah. episode. Um, we genuinely appreciate your presence, sir. Although we uh damn it's, it, we, we took a lot of your time, which is don't blame me. Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, you good. No worries. Technical but. <laughs> technical difficulties but yeah thank you guys make sure you hit that like button comment something positive comment something that you enjoyed from the episode make sure you go subscribe to uh quest and friends and uh, listen to them on all digital platforms as well but as always as we do here remember to subscribe and that's oh yeah <laughs> Roll the 1K. Roll the 1K, let's go.